Hi, this is Jeff with Mr. Hardwater. Today we're going to use our pool tile blast cleaning kit not to do a jacuzzi or pool tile or fountain, but to actually do a bathroom and shower that has been neglected for a long period of time. The reason we're going to use our pool tile blast cleaning kit is because there's so much rust, there's so much soap scum buildup, and there's so much uh, just stains on the porcelain tub as well as on the tile and in the grout that it's almost going to be impossible to really scrub all this out by hand. So instead of doing it by hand, we're just going to use our pool tile blast cleaning kit. So the basic kit is really an accessory to a pressure washer. Now the nice thing about the uh, the blast accessory kit is that it can really accommodate any size pressure washing machine. What, in order to accommodate the different uh, flow rates and the gallons per minute as well as the pressures on the machines, all you need to do is to insert a different nozzle tip inside the brass mixing valve body. What that does is that adjusts the velocity and the flow through the valve body and that allows you to adjust the suction that you're going to need in order to suck the, uh, the blast media through the hose and out through the tip. Now it's really the combination of the water plus the, uh, the media that's going to do the cleaning for us today. So today I've chosen the pool tile blast media because it really is the best media for this type of uh, a shower uh, tiles. It's really the same type of glazed tiles. So it's going to work really well. Also, this media is pH neutral and it's water soluble. So it's going to be very easy to work with. It's non-toxic. It's eco-friendly. So it's easy and safe to work with. Also on the, uh, the porcelain tub, which you're going to see, is really damaged and this media is really going to be able to clean it up safely. It's not going to pit the surface or damage it in any way and instead the crystals are really just going to clean that surface. So with our pressure washer and our blast accessory kit and our media, let's go ahead and do this shower. things that's really nice to have is some foam blocks like these. These are like a three by four by two foot foam blocks. What I use them for is like a sponge to mop up any of the water that uh, you know flows outside of the, uh, the shower. You can see already by just having a couple trigger sprays that I've completely cleaned the tile. It looks great. So now for the purpose of the videos it's a little uh, messy because the water's coming back out. But if I was going to do this without filming I'd probably put up some kind of a plastic here or even get inside the shower, shut the doors and just start blasting away. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put the foam blocks down on the bottom here. It's going to soak up the water and I'll give you a little bit more example of how powerful and how nice this system is and how quick it is. And then, um, and then I'll shut the shower doors and just finish it off. pull tile blast media really cleans this so quickly. Look how great the uh, porcelain turns out, the, the tile and tub. It's just absolutely phenomenal. So what I'm going to do now is stop here and I'm going to get inside the shower door, shower and just kind of uh, blasting out and it's probably going to take about five minutes.
Okay, so I'm right in the middle of this job now. I've asked media it does accumulate, and it doesn't hurt the pipes. It's all biodegradable. It's all natural, and it's water soluble. However, just to speed up the job, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dustpan and just take out some of the extra media here and then put it into a bucket so that um, I don't have as much going down the drain so I can just um, rinse everything down when I'm through. So um, once I remove all this, I'm just going to keep spraying away. i got another few minutes and we'll be fine. on a shower, one of the things you can do to increase the performance as well as to make the job cleaner is to shorten up the draw tube that we have going to the media. Like each system is going to ship with 20 feet of hose. However, a lot of times I'll cut the hose in half and only use about 10 feet or less because I need the media to be close to me while we're blasting. The other thing you need to be aware of also is like when you're working inside the home, you really don't want to use this black type of, uh, of inlet hose because it can actually leave the scuff marks, the black scuff marks on the cement. So instead it's better to use the blue hose. But in this case I'm going to leave the pressure washer outside here, run the hose to the garage, and I've only got it a few feet before I can get into the shower, and so it's going to be easy for me to manage the, uh, the black hose.